We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. On the bush in front of me, you can see a ball of silk, what looks like a cocoon or spider's web. But upon closer inspection, you can see it looks to have many little caterpillars inside. These are western tent caterpillars. I first noticed these because a group of people were on the trailhead uh, just in the parking lot looking at these structures and trying to determine whether they're getting in or getting out. You know, because most people think uh, they're being preyed on by something such as a spider, funnel web spider. That would be my first guess. But these are actually uh, tents that are sewn by these western tent caterpillars every spring. Tent-like nests of these large, light blue flaked, hairy caterpillars can be found mostly in desert almond bushes. Um, I don't have my desert bushes you know, memorized or anything. I thought these were just creosote bushes. Then I looked and I'm like, are these, uh, you know, something else, uh, camis? But that wouldn't grow here. And as you can see, they move their front ends around their heads, and they spin from their jaws. Um, unlike some animals such as spiders that spin from their back ends and hind legs. So they make these herky-jerky movements back and forth. This is a mature colony of western tent caterpillars. The maximum length they can reach is about 3.8 centimeters, one and a half inches long. You can see the obvious color patterns here, the powder blue on the sides and underneath, and what looks to be an orange-brown stripe or mane. Uh, on top all along the dorsal side. So the caterpillars when they get this big don't seem to care about hiding inside anymore. Um, they don't seem to be very active in the web spinning although you do see like one or two doing that. The rest are just kind of chilling out. I think they organize uh, feeding runs by laying pheromone trails all along the almond bushes Although they do eat other plants, they can metamorphosize into 2-inch moths later on.